Well, hello and welcome to another CAD tutorial video. Today we're going to take our first dive into uh, finite element analysis using Inventor. Uh, and we are going to be looking more specifically at doing a parametric dimensioned FEA analysis of a simple bracket. So it's fairly, fairly easy little part for us to create. And uh, we'll get it all set up and, and take a look at some of the the functionality in the FEA module of Inventor. All right, so let's go ahead and start a brand new part file. And we'll create a sketch to make our bracket. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't normally create my models in this fashion, but the way that we're going to go about doing it is important for creating the parametric dimensioning in the FEA side. So I'm just going to take and draw a line down and then angle it over. And we're just kind of make a little 90 degree bracket here. Okay. Let's just go ahead and use some constraints. We'll make this equal to this. And I see two endpoints not touching. Okay. And let's take an overall dimension of six. And then I'm going this way equal to six and let's put a dimension across here point two five and then i want to make sure that i'm carrying the same thickness all the way through this so i'm going to put a dimension across here and make it equal to this one all right and we'll make this two and we'll make this equal to this. Okay. That should take care of our model. Um, okay. So we'll finish that up. Again, the most, the key thing is that we keep the consistent cross section through this model for for the demonstration for today. All right, then we're going to take and extrude this. We're going to go bi-directional and we'll make it two. All right, and then I'm just going to fill it the tops. All right, and then finally, we'll put some holes in this of one inch. All right, and most importantly, let's go ahead and assign a material. And today we're going to use aluminum 6061 uh, for this. We'll use the regular. There we go. All right, so that's our model. We're ready to go into the finite element analysis part. Before we do that, I want to come up here to the parameters button. I want to find where that 0.25 uh, measurement's at and see what it's called. And it's going to be our D2, 0.25. All right, that'll be, we'll need to note that for as we progress forward. All right, so now we'll go up into environment and stress analysis, create study. And in here, I'm going to leave it mostly in the defaults, but my design objective, I want to change from a single point, which is what we would normally be doing, to a parametric dimension study. And then we'll go ahead and leave everything else alone and click OK. All right, once we're in here, 
we can go ahead and add a fix constraint to where the bracket's going to attach to the wall or to some other object. And we'll go ahead and place the load on it. Remember, this is just going to be a simple example. We'll dive into FEA a little more deeper in some other videos. Uh, we're going to put a force of 120 pounds downward. direction okay and that should take care of everything that's needed uh, let's go ahead and add gravity I'll just pick a vector flip the direction okay there we go all right so now let's go ahead and make this study so in order to make the study, we're going to pull up the parameter table. And this brings up this bottom part of the screen. And for my constraint name for design constraints, I'm going to add my first one by right clicking in the space. And we're just going to add a mass in here. And I just want to view the value, and it'll indicate my value of what I lose in mass between our studies. And then I'm going to add in there another one. So I right-clicked in the space, add design constraint. I'm going to come up into stress, and we'll do a von Mises stress analysis. And I'm going to set this to a max value. So pick the little arrow here, upper limit. And our yield strength on aluminum 6061 uh, is 35. Center safety factor 1.5. And I'll take care of that value. All right, so now it's time to do our parameter or our dimensional parameter setting. I'm going to start by coming over here into my part and I'm going to right click on it in the browser to show parameters. And then I'm going to find where my 0.25 is, D2. I'm going to click the button right there. All right, little checkbox. Now it's thrown in here on our parameters. And it tells us what it's doing. So we're going to control the thickness of this and see if we stay within the values that we've set up in our design constraints up here at the top. Currently our value is set to 0.25. I'm gonna come in here to values and change that to 0.2 dash 0.3 colon three. Now what the the two dots and the three is going to indicate for us is that in this range, we're going to do three studies. So it'll take care of the math for us, and it'll be a study at 0.2, a study at 0.25, and a study at 0.3. And I'll show you what else we can do with this setting here. Once I do that, I go ahead and right-click on this line and say generate all configurations. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. We'll go ahead and mesh it. We're not gonna get fancy with our mesh. We'll just take the default today. And then we'll go ahead and simulate it. And we wanna do a smart set of configurations, one study, three runs of this, and we'll go ahead and run it. All right. So, with our value set, with a, a load over here of 120 pounds, I believe that's what I set it to, we're showing that we are out of range at our current value of 0.25. So that would mean our 0.2 is failing as well. But our point three is getting us a green 
dot here. So we're above our safety factor 1.5 on a limit of 35 for our stress. We could add additional constraints in here, whether it be displacement or volume. Um, the sky's the limit, but in this particular case, we're just taking a look at mass and stress and with our three runs. So this is a good way where we can see where we can reduce material if we want to or make modifications in our design to make it better and still be able to achieve our design criteria for our project. I want to take a look back down here before I let you guys go today. And under the values, we did the point 0.2 to point 0.3. Now, we know we failed at point 0.2 and point 0.25. But after that, we were successful. So if I go ahead and change the point 0.3 or the dash 3 to dot 5, dot dot 5, this case, we're going to do five studies in there. So I need to generate all configurations and rerun the simulation. Okay, and so now we have five configurations that we can run in between these values. And at a thickness of 0.275, we're now in the green. So we were able to bring our value down a little further than 0.3 and subtract a little more material and get that. We could further refine this. And uh, if I change that to... Uh, dot dot six, then I'd get six studies, so I'd get point two, point two one. Uh, I, I, excuse me, I'd get point two. Well, if I change it to ten, let's if I change that to ten studies between that, it'd be point two, point two one, point two two, etc. Up. So we could get very specific and try and find out where that magic mark is on reducing the amount of material that we want. And that's the nice thing about including the mass in here is we can see how much material we're down to. So our first successful value at 0.275, we have a total mass of 0.44 pounds in this case. And anything above that, we can see we're increasing our mass, of course and we're increasing our thickness to it. So that is a uh, parametric dimensioned FEA analysis, uh, quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and please subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. And if you have any ideas for our next video set, please leave a, a comment below and we'll be more than happy to make those for you. Thank you.